So on the structure with our pretzel, uh, we have high carbon here and lower carbon here, and then there is what looks like a D4D ratio of a Evo strike, and we've got the Evo strike here, and uh, very clearly this D4D ratio. And if we look at it, uh, there's a fragment of something that I think has just fallen on it, which is uh, potassium rich, and um, I think that's uh, what we need to know about that. And it's got iron in it, so that one had uh, potassium and iron, the previous one. So we have potassium and iron. And this one here has also got iron. In fact, it's 37% iron, this torus, which is interesting. And in, in fact, there's no copper. Oh, there's a very little copper, 11% there. So that is in the ring of that. So uh, we're going across the Evo strike here. So this is the inside of the Evo strike, and then across the Evo strike, and then on the outside of the Evo strike, you can see there's basically well, it's ra ramping up the iron on the inside from basically nil uh, to a fairly consistent level across the Evo strike width uh, of the torus. And then it drops down, and then we've got the long flat line here. Now, if I turn on the copper here, I'll include that. Oh, sorry, I need to click on that and include. You'll see that uh, the copper is higher when it's on the inside, and this drops down uh, to a very low level, and then it pumps up to quite a high level. Let's see what happens when we do that with, uh, say, oxygen. So we'll exclude that and we will include oxygen. Okay, so oxygen is following the iron. So this would be maybe uh, iron oxide of some type. And we will turn that off, exclude, and we'll try the carbon, see where the carbon goes, include. So the, the carbon's pretty level across the whole lot. So yeah, there's a correlation between the iron and the oxygen. Uh, include, carbon exclude, so the correlation there with the blue of the oxygen and there's an anti-correlation with the copper. Very interesting of a strike mark line.